Warning, this will shift you to a parallel reality. You'll jump timelines and you'll be able to attract anything you desire. Money, love, health, success, happiness. Are you ready to jump? Get ready. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful Eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Thank you for subscribing and remember, click the bell icon. Cause we're here almost every day with a new video to empower your life with the law of attraction. I'd like to invite you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. We've helped people in 60 different countries, and I know we can help you too. The money you desire, the love you crave and the health and happiness and success you deserve law of attraction solutions.com. So high flyers in the quantum sciences, there is this theory and I don't know that it can ever be proven into a fact, but it is a pretty strong theory that we actually live in a multiverse rather than a universe. Now high flyers think of a radio. There are a multitude of channels broadcasting all at the same time but you're tuned in to one frequency. So that's all you have uh, exposure to. That's all that's relevant to you. But the truth of the matter is you can change frequencies and what I call sub frequencies. So what happens is, is when you start to change sub frequencies, your life begins to change. Now to you, it just seems like things got better. But the truth of the matter is you've literally jumped timelines. Now, parallel realities and this whole concept of parallel realities, it's not limited to quantum physics, religion and philosophy have expressed these ideas of multiverse or multi realities since the beginning of the ancient mystery schools. For example, the Kabbalah has 10 Sephirot on the tree of life. And these are levels of consciousness or worlds, if you will. And each one of these levels of consciousness have 10 and each one of those have 10 and on and on and on infinitum in the book of John chapter 14, verse two, it says in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Many mansions, many worlds, many concepts, many vibrations, because that's really the whole universe is created out of vibrations. So when you think about it, when Jesus is talking about many mansions, he's really talking about different levels of vibration. And the cool thing about it is high flyers. This is what I think find absolutely mind blowing. All of these realities exist right here, right now. The reality that you believe is the reality that you perceive everything and anything that you could ever desire exists right now. And you have the power to tune in to your desired channel. Now look at, whether you realize it or not, you and I are jumping timelines all the time. We're doing what I, what I call micro jumping, little small micro jumps in the timeline, but we're doing it every day. We just don't realize it because our brain and our perceptions don't allow for that realization, but that's the way it is. So if you do it anyway, by accident, so to speak, why not do it on purpose? and attract what you desire using the power of your imagination in a very specific way allows you to change frequencies 
and do these micro jumps or change timelines. Imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attraction. Albert Einstein. If you perceive it and you believe it, you can achieve it. The future that you desire isn't off somewhere in the distance. It's right here. It's right now. Every now and then there's a glitch in reality that kind of gives it away. I'm going to share one that happened to me. I was out on a date. I was probably in my twenties and I was out on a date. It was just a friend date, but nonetheless, it was a date. It was a nice little Italian restaurant. It was sitting right by the window and we were waiting for our food to be served. I remember the person that I was with, she said to me, you make me feel safe. And somehow the word safe, it ignited something in my mind, in my imagination and in my intuition. And all of a sudden I felt a little nervous and I felt shaky and I tapped into this shakiness. I didn't know what it was, but I knew I had to leave. So I said to her, Hey, come on, let's go. She said, why? We're just, they're getting ready to bring our food. I said, let's go. So we left and we ended up going to McDonald's and having something to eat. But what happened was, is shortly thereafter, a car drove through a drunken driver, drove through the window where I would have been sitting. It would have likely injured me or killed me. It was absolutely astonishing. Astonishing. And I was, I have to say, I was shaken up for days afterwards. That's how close I came. But I literally, when she said the word safe, something triggered in my mind. And to the best of my, my thinking is I jump timelines. It wasn't my time on this timeline to die. Now, maybe on another timeline, I did die. I don't know. I, you know, I don't have quite those abilities yet, but I will say that it was a miraculous situation. Sometimes it's even possible to kind of cross timelines into another person's timeline. There was a lady broken down and uh, this was quite a few years ago. And so I pulled over and I was, I was running a little low on gas. I thought, well, I'll go to a gas station, but it was kind of late at night. I felt sorry for her. I decided to give her a ride all the way home. And she was about 30 minutes out of my way, but Hey, I was young. I was a nice guy. I did it anyway. So I went out of my way, gave her a ride home about 30 minutes from where I picked her up. And then I had to come all the way back another 30 minutes of driving. I didn't go through one drop of gas, not one drop of gas. It is like I tapped into her timeline and used her gas. I have no other explanation for it. And I, I could go on with more stories, but I'm just going to stop here because I know you have a story you want to share about how you have jumped a timeline, share it down below. I want to read it. So over the years I have taught parallel reality jumping using miracle hypnosis. And I've taught people to attract more money, a lot more money to attract their specific person, to save their marriage, to heal their body. I'm going to share more of these stories and, uh, examples in future videos, but suffice it to say this technique I'm about to share with you, this meditation is absolutely essential. You see, when you use present tense gratitude for something that you haven't received yet, let's say you desire to have a new car. So you start becoming grateful that you've received the finances to purchase this new car and you immerse yourself in gratitude, you literally start shifting timelines. You shift to a parallel reality.
The key is to imagine clearly and concisely the timeline you desire to live. Focus on one aspect of life that you want to jump into, so to speak. And then finally, prepare your mind for the shift. It's easy. We do it all the time. But the easiest way to prepare your mind is to turn off your phone, relax, and listen. Relax your body, relax your mind, unless you're driving, of course, and listen and state the following with me as you relax. I am living the reality I desire. I am living the reality that I desire. I am shifting my reality because I am a limitless being. I am shifting my reality because I am co-creator. I am shifting my reality because I am co-creator. I have no boundaries. I have no limits. I have no boundaries. I have no limits. I am destined to live the life that I desire. I am destined to live life that I desire. I am now the version of me who and fill in the blank, who has unlimited resources, who is in a deep relationship with their specific person, who is healing their body of disease and trauma. Whatever you want to put in there. I am now the version of me who you fill in the blank. I am now using my mind to shift my reality. I am now using my mind to shift my reality. I have jumped into the timeline where fill in the blank. I have jumped into the timeline where fill in the blank. Now relax and focus on your new reality. Take notice that there's kind of an internal nudge taking place. You can kind of feel this nudge. Something has shifted. You can't put your finger on it, but you can feel it. Something has changed. Finally, fill yourself up with gratitude that you have shifted timelines, that you have made the jump, that you are in a new reality where you are receiving exactly what you desire. As you open your eyes and go about your day, look for the sign 1111. 1111 is a huge sign of new beginnings, which also means that you have shifted timelines. Other signs might include a sunrise. You might see symbols of a sunrise or pictures. They may be in movies. They may be on your video. They may be on a license plate on an Instagram feed. It really doesn't matter. If you see a sunrise, that's a sign that you've jumped. And of course, 
No doubt you have your own personal signs that have specific meaning to you. Do this short little meditation every day. Now I've included the affirmations in the description so you can use them throughout the day. The more that you understand that you are jumping, that you have jumped and the more clearly you see the timeline that you desire, the more likely you are to jump and live a new timeline. Here's another video I know will help you.